In this video, I'll show you how to create and save subtitle styles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Welcome to this video. My name is David. And uh, basically, the reason why you may need to create and save subtitle style is because you want to make sure that your workflow is uniform. Your subtitles are uniform across the board. So uh, we're inside Premiere Pro. Uh, I'll just select that and you'll see I have some subtitles here. You can see them here. Let's assume we want to go with this style that I've created where we have a good background and I'll just select one subtitle and uh, we see the background 75% opacity, a size of 2.7 and also I have the two line uh, subtitle. So if you don't have a track style for this or basically for this, what you can do, you can see here we have a none style. You can click on the drop down and then create style. Once you click on that, you're going to get new text style. So for example, we're going to call it subtitles for, uh, let's say, YouTube band in. So just click OK. Once I click OK, we are going to have a track style called subtitle for YouTube band in. And you can always create others so that you can use and reuse this. So let's do this let's come in here uh, we just look for a subtitle file i want to use and then let's remove this subtitle layer let's just de delete that track and then we can just i just need to, to know what particular uh, one i have and you see where it comes in uh, this particular style comes in here and then let's come and drag and drop this particular subtitle file yeah here it is so once we do that, we can actually uh, just drag and drop it inside here. And then when you're creating new caption tracks uh, for the subtitle, uh, what you'll need to do, uh, go for the subtitle, don't go for these other ones, unless you're doing closed captioning and all that. But if you're going to be doing banded subtitles, uh, just go with this. Or if you want to export the SRTs, just go with this. And then for the style, click on that and you'll see subtitle for YouTube banding. I'll click on that and then the start point, since this is a, a timed SRC subtitle, I'll just click on the source time code and then click OK. Once I click OK, our subtitles will be populated. If I select on that, then you'll see that the st style that we have for these subtitles to have a background and all that, uh, the background at 75, 2.7, two lines ETC is available. Now, the only difference with sub, uh, uh, right to left uh, language subtitles, for example, Arabic, Hebrew, Farsi, ETC, is that you'll need to ensure that the writing and the reading is right to left. Uh, this is in left to right, so I'll just click on this, Control A to select all subtitles, and then with the updated version of Premiere Pro version 22.1.2, the universal text engine has been updated and these particular uh, buttons are active at the moment it's in left to right if i click on this and you look at the text on screen it's going to change from left to right into right to left so clearly this has been changed and then uh, you can move on burning your subtitles to your video super fast just by creating and saving a style of subtitles that you'd like to use so that's how you can create and save subtitle styles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.